Okay, so hey everybody. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. I don't really go live, so this is not really my thing. I'm in the car with it, getting ready to hit the streets in my own little world. Um I'm only going live because today has been a very entertaining day. Um I want to say wait until everybody come in, but it's still going to post to Facebook anyway, so whatever you don't see at the beginning, you can always go back, go back later and see it, but yeah, I'm live today because I have two things to talk about now in my personal world, those I talk to, I've been saying a couple of these things since pretty much the summer and recently I started going into details of some of the things we need to be aware of I would say as black people but at this point <laughs> after watching what happened at the capitol I'm sure black people got the message now as people everything we went through in 2020 as I've been saying was a setup and today they prove like it's a real setup like I said I haven't really been on this page a lot I don't really talk politics with a lot of people but today I find it very funny how all those white people get to go up to the capitol make their moves and make their statements and only get escorted home out of this whole thing only one person got shot which is a woman the main people we supposed to protect It brings me to this because I've been saying we had to fight back with intelligence. They already know we are mad. We have to show them how intelligent we are. Us as black people, they hate us to be smart. They hate us to be educated and they hate us. For, they hate for us to beat them at their own game with their own rules. Now, I'm sure everybody's saying them climbing on walls and going in the Capitol and taking them pictures and stealing. They was stealing. I learned that a lot of it, but it's very serious. Why is it serious? For two reasons. Because, for one, this whole presidential thing is a fucking joke. For two, I don't think a lot of y'all got the message. First, we're supposed to appreciate what we have. If we don't have nothing, this was our time to figure out a better way to get what we need so we don't go backwards. Now, they fed us all this money, and I've been asking all year, who the fuck gonna pay this money back? Excuse my French for those who like, don't like cussing. And I've always answered it. I've always said, we're paying that money back. Why we're paying that money back? Because we pay taxes. We are working. Most of us been on unemployment. So, if you did not get the taxes to cut your unemployment, it's going to fuck you this year when you file taxes. If you have received both of the stimulus check before the 15th, you're paying both stimuluses back with your taxes. Not only that, when you go to work and they're taking out your work checks, they're going to they're going to increase that. Most people didn't figure that out because they was excited to get it. I completely understand. We fucking broke. We have to work way too hard for the little pennies that we get not down on anybody i want everybody to be smarter why because for one we have a businessman we had a businessman as a president not only did we have that businessman as a president we failed to realize that his only goal was to drain the pot so we could suffer we have to pay that money back he don't we have to be the one working for that money. We have to recover that money. They claim we were in debt before all of this, but this proves that we had the money. They just didn't want to give it to us. We can't get raises out of our jobs because we didn't, we didn't have the money. They didn't want to raise anything or do anything for us because we ain't had the money, but yet we go into all of this and they come up with the money. Like I said, who pay that back? We do. Not only that, um, my black people, <laughs> I've 
for one been low-key out of the radar out of people's eyes out of everything out the way you don't see me unless i want to be seen i've really been off the grid i don't even really like i said i don't really even use this page for real more so because i try to protect my peace i don't like the negativity that come my way it don't go addressed on social media but it is there um black people so now that we all know to get llc's to for this business and to get the business loan to start our businesses we also have to be smart enough to keep these businesses we also have to be smart enough to understand how these businesses is to progress you do understand that once you get that business loan no matter how much it is you're paying it back with entrance I, in my own way, is my own little idiot, but I'm a very intelligent girl. I went to school for accounting. I didn't want to finish accounting because I already knew I would send myself to jail for fraud. I know the consequences of fraud, so I stayed away from it. Now, with me saying that, understand, all of this was a setup to set us back. We did 400 years of slavery. We putting ourselves back in the same situation. It's just dressed up different. I think it's kind of messed up how our younger generation is learning everything through Facebook. They're learning how to be successful business people. They're learning how they're supposed to have an education. Like Facebook has taught a lot of people. It has shown where we dropped the ball at as people. We really took education for granted. I I really feel that way. Even myself, I really took that shit for granted. And like I said, we, we all make mistakes. We are all human. I'm not judging anybody. I'm not criticizing anybody. But this should be our sign to wake up. Like, y'all know damn well we couldn't have went down there and made that scene like that. Not only that, it would have been more than one person shot. Nah, rest her soul because they, I did find out that she were killed. Which is why I decided to go live because it's fucked up how y'all only killed one white lady with all them men there. Out of all the men, y'all killed the white lady. It's not fair. Especially with all the shit y'all was doing. Y'all got guns and everything and she didn't want to die. It's not fair. Not only that. If y'all don't see that we got to band together and become a unit, we will forever fail. This should have been the biggest eye opener for us to stick together to come together so we could gain our own power and help each other prosper because it's about to be a whirlwind after all of this no matter who's in office we do get great success coming out of this history has been made coming out of this but understand we as the people are fucked in this situation if we don't get it together that we don't play us smarter we ain't gonna never prevail and as you can see we would never have power they not even scared of their own people. But if that was us, they would have definitely been scared. If that's not an eye opener, I don't know what is. If this don't wake y'all up, I don't know what is. If you don't fix your finances and figure out a better way to spend your money, I don't know what's going to change your mind. Like I said, I'm not judging you because we all make mistakes and we all do foolish things. But after this, 2020 was enough. But coming in 2021 with 2020 problems... Hey, it's time to, for those eyes to be open, those brains to get to working, them plans to come about. We need to go back to the drawing board. We need to have brainstorming ideas, put that on paper. Like, we need a whole strategy as to how we can do better as a team. Because uh, we fucked, as y'all can see. I know it ain't too many people watching this. I get it. I don't take it personal. But I know y'all gonna see it. Not only that, we all got to communicate better. We must love each other better. We must do better as people. If you ain't got your credit right, do not jump into that LLC. Get your credit right and do it the right way. If you haven't got the proper education into what you're trying to own a business to, please take the classes and the time to get everything you need. Because once all this starts trickling down, it's not going to do it immediately. But two to five years, we're going to start seeing the consequences of all these actions of these these moments that we've been having lately. With that being said, enjoy y'all day. I'm about to hit the streets. And you guys be blessed.